Hey folks, uh, next amp is a uh, 22879 BMT 200. This amp doesn't have the uh, switch on the front for the keyer, but it does have a built-in keyer, and it is just uh, engaged all the time. So no switch, but you know that's an easy fix. If you were wanting a switch, you could get one put on. Uh, this amplifier's got a switch and power supply. The new style power supplies runs about 40 amps, uh, 14 volts, and some change. You know, not bolted or anything. Super lightweight uh, because of the new power supply. Get a look at it here. We're only going to be driving it with a Cobra 29, so uh, you know, please keep in mind that if you drive this with export radio, you're going to see a considerable uh, amount of watts out of it. But again, only thing we're driving it with is a Cobra 29. 500 watt slug. So we're going to be looking at the middle scale. Audio, one, two, three. Hello, come in. Audio, one, one, audio, one, two, three. Again, that's on peak. So right at 300 watts peak. Go back to average. Same slug. One, two, three. Hello, come in. Audio. A hundred and a little bit of change on average. And uh, this amp makes a great driver for uh, dual GS35Bs. You could run into a single 35B if you wanted to, but uh, excellent driver. Again, we're only driving it with a Cobra 29. Switching power supply, 40 amps, 14 volts and some change. Two 2879s. Enjoy the video, 73s.